when I was going to direct the pilot for, for Knights of Prosperity, uh, which was the Let's Rob Mick Jagger show, um, I, I remember uh, you know, I needed advice. So I, I, I'm going to name drop here in hopes that you'll like me more. Um, so, we call I'm, that a humble brag. Oh, I'm just bragging. There's nothing humble about this. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm very good friends with J.J. Abrams. So, I don't know. Um, so, <laughs> I'm very impressed by that. Let the record show that Ed got more applause than J.J., in case you're watching this, J.J. Um, and that one person clapped for Ed and no one clapped for you. I was clapping on the inside. Uh, um, but I've known J.J. forever. He's one of those kind of impossible guys who has maintained... You know, we all know what he's accomplished, but the real accomplishment is that he is an impossibly sweet guy that has not changed at all. He doesn't seem to realize that he is Steven Spielberg now. But I remember calling him that, that, that I, I, so in this pilot that I was directing, I realized that there's, it, it was a bit of a heist. So there was this one sequence that was, I don't want, it wasn't an action sequence, but it was, it was not something that really was in my wheelhouse of directing, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm like, a little nervous about you know directing this thing where people got to run around and stuff and I mean I, I know I could do it but how, so I'm like well JJ I mean come on who else are you gonna call so I, I called I called JJ up and uh, I'm like y y you got any advice on how to you know and I think it just finished I don't know not Mission Impossible three but one of you know some amazing you know thing he was doing so he gives me this advice and he tells me uh, he goes you know there's all kinds of things and I got all these cameras but here's the best advice I can give you just Use a lot of whip pans, he says, right? Which is just, you know, when you just like that with the camera. He goes, you'd be surprised. You know, I still do it. I did it when I was making Super 8 films, and I still do it with all the equipment. I just, a lot of whip pans, like this and this. So I'm like, all right, that, that's good advice. So I, yeah, I throw in a few whip pans, whatever. So what was, I, it was funny. I was just talking about this with him yesterday. And uh, he gets a, his company got a show on TV that year. Uh, I don't know what it was, on ABC. And, and it was the year that my show got in. So we run into each other at the big upfront event where they have all the shows. And we're standing in the, in, at Lincoln Center in the, in the lobby together. And up on the screen, they, they're running these promotional things for like a cut down for each show. Well, they've done something with my show, it, it, the, the, the ABC promotional guys, where the way they've gotten from scene to scene is by like literally whipping the frame <laughs> off the screen to the next thing. Like, whoosh, 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 like this, over and over again. But it's not me doing it. It's th they were doing it. And I'm sitting there, and JJ is looking at this thing. And I'm trying to say, I'm like, I promise you that is not. He just figured I went every shot in the entire thing. It was just, whoosh, whoosh. JJ told me to do it. Just trust me. Just It was hilarious. But, um, but in addition to name dropping, the reason I tell that story is, I think in today's world, I would have had just more hours in the cockpit with a camera. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what, like, just watching, you know, Haley or Raider cut this, cut this video. You know what I mean? She, she can do it just because she's done it and done it and done it and done it. My daughter right. Lucy is here somewhere. You know, she's shooting stuff and like learning how to edit stuff you know by the time she's my age well before that you know she, the, they're, they're going to know a ton of stuff so i i just read an article about uh christopher nolan um mm -hmm. that's not name dropping because i don't know him he's just a guy <laughs> we could all read an article you could all read an article <laughs> i read articles i read um but in, D, in, in, <laughs> in dga magazine there's an article about him and he was very much self-taught you know he was making Super 8 things, and he said that that really is what helps him. He knows every aspect of filmmaking. Mm -hmm. And for me, there's, I have real weakness. I have many weaknesses, but one of my big weaknesses as a director is my lack of, of really understanding cameras very well. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, that's, you know, everyone's kind of got their weakness. That, that is mine, whereas, you know, writing and editing, I've done lots and lots of. Mm -hmm. So that's a long answer to your question, but I think that's the advantage of kids being able to just go, just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Mm -hmm.